Alex Falcone. This is Alex Tries. Today, I am going to be trying synchronized swimming. I'm here with my coach, Michelle. Uh, Michelle, could you answer for us, like, maybe, like, the three most common questions you get about synchronized swimming? Yeah, no problem, Alex. Um, the Olympics, about three minutes, mm -hmm. and jello. Great. What's the most dangerous part of this for me today? What is your biggest worry with me? Hopefully, you won't kick anyone. So this is like if you had a ballet, and then one of the ballet dancers was a horse. Like that? Yeah, and but we're around horses all the time. We okay. know not to get by your hind legs. <laughs> I have one piece of equipment for you. I have a nose clip. Oh, okay. It looks oh. like tiny headphones for my nose. <laughs> okay, so like yeah. that. All right, okay. let's see how it goes. Ow, ow. The first skill oh, we're gonna teach you uh -huh. is called a ballet leg. Okay. So you start on your back, uh -huh. you're gonna bend one leg, uh -huh. and then you lift it into the air with a straight leg pointed toe, oh my and you God. bend it back down. How long do you have to hold it? And then you straighten it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I get three minutes of the Olympics. What's the jello thing? The jello thing's how we put our hair up. Instead but, of a hat, sometimes yeah. you just put jello in your hair? Sometimes we put jello in our hair. It keeps it back, slick back in a bun. Does it like come off and make the pool all jello -y? Yeah, it comes off, it drips down uh. your neck, and it gets sticky, and yeah. The next skill we're going to learn is called a boost. Uh -huh. You do a really big kick to the bottom of the pool, and you get as much of your body out of the water as you can. Okay. <laughs> okay, now your turn. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Yes. I can't tell if you guys are saying, yay, great job, because I'm underwater. <laughs> but I'm sure you are. We have different faces that go with different music. Uh -huh. And we have a couple of really good demonstrators. Here. Let's do a face that would go with royalty-free music I found on YouTube. <laughs> We call this the Marissa face because she looks so happy. <laughs> <laughs>routine let's do it we're gonna start with the ballet legs okay. so it's gonna start facing this way hand oh, wave no. back uh, ballet leg ballet leg up overturn oh uh, yes mm -hmm. okay So you saw that whole routine, how, uh, how would I be judged? So there are three different categories that we judge in synchronized swimming. There is execution, difficulty, and artistic. And, and uh, one of those isn't my fault because you picked the routine. That is actually true. Difficulty you judge based on what the routine should be, not what you actually see. Okay, great. Let's do that one first. Can we do that one first? I would give it a 6-8 probably. Okay. There's some hard nice. moves. Yeah. Out of 10. Out of 10. What's another part? Artistic. 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 So artistic is how you interpreted the music, Yeah. the choreography, and I couldn't even tell what you're swimming to. I don't feel like you were interpreting the music at all. Not much presentation, so I would give it a 2.5. 
technical merit, there's some things you need to work on. Uh huh. We'd like you to straighten your knees. We'd like you to point your toes. <laughs> but I'd probably give you about a 4.5 because I saw some improvement at the end. Overall impression as of me as a person. <laughs> <laughs> That's like an eight? <laughs> yeah, totally.